Hi, in this tutorial we're going to model a screw in Autodesk Fusion 360. The first thing we want to do is come over here to our view cube and click on the top plane. We're now looking at the part from the top. From here, let's come over to where it says origin so that we can select the top plane, the XZ plane, which is the top plane here. And I'm going to start a sketch on this top plane. Then I'm going to click on line and I'm going to start a line on the origin. From here I can drag up and place it in line with the origin so it's completely vertical. And I can set a dimension on this line which for now I want to be an inch and a quarter in length so 1.25 inches. And if you put the inch symbol after your dimension you can be sure that whatever unit system you're working with is going to come out in inches. So from here we need to add a couple more dimensions. I want the top of my screw to be 3 sixteenths in, I'm sorry, 3 eighths in diameter. So if I come up to line and I drag out from this point, I'm going to drag this out, sketch dimension, and I'm going to set a dimension to be 3 eighths and this whole dimension is going to be divided by 2 because whenever we're working with a revolve profile everything needs to be in half because it's going to be doubled once we do the revolve. So you can type in 3 eighths in parentheses and then put a div division divide by 2 after and you're going to see that Autodesk Fusion does that arithmetic for you. So now we have our, our first line, an inch and an eight and a quarter. And we have this line, which is three eighths divided by two. And from here, we want to create the top head of the screw. So I'm going to create another line from this point. And I want this to be one quarter of an inch. So I'm going to drag out and I'm just going to do 1 divided by 4. That's automatically going to set it to be this because my uh, units are set to inches right now. If your units are not set to inches, you can just type in 0.25 inches. Now from here, what we want to do is create the shank, which is a quarter inch. So let me drag out a line and I'm just going to place it about here. And I want this to be a quarter inch. So let me create another line that comes all the way down to the bottom. And the dimension is going to be from the center line or center of rotation and this line. And I want it to be a quarter inch. So this is going to be an eighth inch, 0.125. And that's what we want it to look like. Now, this is open at the bottom. I didn't close it yet, so I want to make sure that I close this profile. And when I close it, you see that it actually comes up in a different color now. So that's a great sign. That means that we have a, a closed profile. From here, it's very simple. I'm going to finish sketch. See this nice big green circle? Click on it. And solid comes up. Now I can come up to revolve here. and the profile is automatically selected for me, so all I need to do is click on this axis here in, in the middle. Now when you click on it, you're going to see that it revolves that profile. So I'm going to hit OK. And now we have our solid. I'm going to look with using the view cube from the top. So obviously there are a couple more things that need to happen here for our screw. Now I want to create a hole inside here. So what I want to do is create a sketch on this face. So I'm going to click on this face because I want to start a sketch on this face to cut into it. Once you select it, you can create a sketch. And you're now creating a sketch on this face. So under create, we have a couple of tools that we can use that are going to help us and aid us a little bit more than these a very basic line, two-point rectangle, circle tools. When you click on it, you see that there's actually a way to create a hex using 
the um, polygon. So if I click on the circumscribe polygon, I can select the center point and it's going to come out with a um, hex, hexagon shape. So I'm just going to place this down and be sure that you have six sides. That's obviously very important. And I'm going to set a dimension between this flat and this flat. And whenever you set a dimension for a hex, you're always doing it between two flats. You never dimension one line, always between two flats. So this dimension is going to be 3 16 And that's going to be the size for this example. So from here, let me finish the sketch the same way we did before. And I can come to extrude and I'm going to select this shape. And from here, I'm going to just drag this arrow down. And the head of our screw is a quarter inch. So for this example, let's set it to be, let's say, 150, the way that it's shown here. And if we look at this from the side, we can see exactly how much it's going in. If we do it more, then we're going to have a deeper pocket. but for this example, we're going to set it at 0.15. Now, every screw, you know, can be different, but for this example, we're going to leave it at that. And you can see here our operation is to cut. That's a very important point. Um, if our operation is to join, then we're not going to get the, the correct extrusion that we want. So as long as you see the red um, extrusion and it's a cut, then hit OK. And if I look at this from the top, we're going to see that we've created a cut inside our part. So there are a couple more things that, that we want to do. One of them very obviously being the thread itself that's going to be on the shank. So to do that, we're going to, you know, sort of select our face here and we want to create the threads. So I'm going to come up to create that's under solid and I'm gonna click on thread right here and this is going this tool is going to allow us to do just that so on the right side here you can see that we have a lot of standards here for the thread now if I click on this you can see that I'm under ANSI unified screw threads and that's the thread um, standard that I want to use. Now the size, the diameter of the thread, uh, of the, the major diameter is uh, a quarter inch and that's what we set our shank diameter to be. Now Autodesk Fusion 360 is smart enough to understand that we have a quarter inch uh, diameter shank and therefore it would make sense that this is a quarter inch 20 or a quarter inch something. Quarter inch 20 is very popular, so it makes sense that it chose that designation automatically. Um, we're gonna leave class the way it is, and we're gonna make sure that our direction is right hand. And we're gonna hit OK for right now. And when I hit OK, you're going to see that there's an illustrative thread here. Now, if we wanna change that illustrative thread, we can look for the feature that we've created and under here under document settings if you change the thread type by clicking on this uh, little button here that comes up I, I know it may be hard to see but there's this little thing that comes up here you can click on it it's like a little button under where it says threads when you click on this, it's going to come up with change thread type and you can click on this drop down and change it to be modeled. Now let's see what happens. Boom, all of a sudden it's modeled in. Now when you model in threads, your file size gets larger, but that's fine. We want to create a modeled um, part for this. So from here, there are a couple finishing touches that we want to add to our screw. Let's start by looking at the top of our part by coming over here to the view cube and clicking on this top arrow. And we're now looking at our part from the top. 
So let's click on this face and let's come over here and create a sketch and click on center diameter circle to create a circle that starts on the origin. Click on the origin and drag out and you can pretty much just place it anywhere for now because from here what we want to do is we want to click on this point and we want to click on our circle and under constraints here I can click on coincident to make the point and the circle coincident to each other. Now as you could see we have a bunch of lines here that are not part of our original circle. Now we just want our circle to show up in this sketch. So we're going to click on these six lines. They're going to come up in blue. And under sketch palette with these selected, come over and click on construction. When you do that, these lines are going to be construction lines. Now what does that mean? It means that when you create a feature, these lines are not going to come up as your profile or your path or anything. They're really just there for construction to build on. And that's going to uh, be very helpful to us in this next step. So let's come up here and finish the sketch. And if I select extrude, I can select the circle. And if I look at this here like this, I can click on this arrow and drag down and let's make sure that cut is selected here it should come up automatically when you drag down and I want this dimension to be 0.025 for the distance and under taper angle here in the window I'm going to type in 45 degrees now as you can see in the preview the cut is coming in, not in the direction that we want it to go. So I can just put a negative in front of 45 and that's going to place it in the direction that we want. So I'm going to hit OK and you're going to see that that's created um, this sort of chamfer that's going to allow for um, less burr and an easier um, implementation of the tool into the head style. So I'm going to just save this for now at this step and we want to add a couple more features here so let's look at this from the side again and what we want to do next is come up to modify and select chamfer now let's select this top edge and this bottom edge and we're going to make this um, 0.025 so type in 0.025 and by default we're just going to hit OK and now we have our chamfers on our screw. Our last feature is to create a chamfer at the bottom part of the screw. Now the reason why we need this is because if we keep the sharp end the way that we have it now, um, that can cause problems with burr on the finished screw and it can be hard to uh, screw this screw into a threaded hole or a nut or something like that so we want to have a sort of end condition here uh, to alleviate some of that burr and uh, some of the problems that it can cause so let's look at this from the edge here on our view cube and then we can look at the bottom and we're going to come up to modify and click chamfer again and from here we're going to select this uh, bottom edge here and we can push this in to about 30 thousandths and you can see what happens if you go more, you can see what happens if you go less. Um, it looks uh, good at 40 thousandths. We, we want to be sure that there's enough of a cone here so that it's easy for this to enter a hole and so that um, there's no burr. So I'm going to hit OK and that's going to set it. And that's our screw.